Shocking research shows that influencer turned boxer Jake Paul has earned a lot more than heavyweight champ Francis Ngannou. You heard that right. Who would have thought Francis the Predator Ngannou, for all his iconic UFC achievements, would be out-earned by newcomer Jake Paul? With a professional record of 17 wins compared to Paul's six wins, trust me, I'm just as shocked as you are. Experts had a heated discussion about Francis Ngannou's career earnings as he gets ready for a possible boxing match against Tyson Fury, the WBC heavyweight champion. Jake Paul was a strong supporter of raising the pay of UFC fighters while he was engaged in his ongoing conflict with Dana White. Looking at the difference in their pay, he's totally right. Ngannou should have earned a lot more. Midnight asserts that Jake Paul is the most profitable boxer based on purse winnings and sponsorships, with a whopping $24 million from six fights in his career. That's just insane. Undefeated fighter introducing the problem child, Jake On the other hand, Francis Ngannou has fought 20 times and won 17 of those fights for just $3 million. So it comes as no surprise that The Predator, 36, is no longer under contract with the UFC. When he left, he was king of the heavyweight division. Now he's the first reigning champion to leave the UFC since BJ Penn in 2004. In a rematch in 2021, the hard-hitting heavyweight defeated legendary champion Stipe Miocic for the title before defending it against top contender Cyril Gunn in January of that year, but he decided to try free agency after dealing with injury and the expiration of his contract, which cost him the belt he never lost in the cage. The mixed martial arts community was shocked that the former heavyweight champion of the UFC would be let go. Fernand Lopez in the MMA factory in Paris as they bring in guys. Oh, it got him! Knocks Orlovsky down! That is it! The Predator Francis! But Jake insists that Francis Ngannou is still MMA's undisputed heavyweight champion, despite leaving the UFC and forfeiting his world title. Francis Ngannou is the baddest man on the planet and chose to be a free agent, Paul wrote in a tweet. Underpaid like every other UFC fighter, he added, while offering Francis Ngannou his support. He's the heavyweight champion MMA and will be until he loses. They're not happy about this, but it's reality and they have to deal with it. They have to live with that every day. Despite being the heavyweight champion and one of the greatest pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, Ngannou made a scandalously low salary under his UFC contract. He earned a guaranteed purse of just $600,000, or around 50 times less than his boxing equivalent, Tyson Fury, for his last defense against Gan, and was unhappy with negotiations for a new agreement. So Paul definitely has a point. Oh, Kimura attempt here from Ngannou. Man, this guy is super strong. Look at this. He has this, he got it. Dana White, his former promoter, has already stated that Ngannou has decided to test free agency in order to take fewer risks and compete against lesser opponents for greater compensation. For about a year, Paul and White have been involved in an odd rivalry. Paul has repeatedly criticized White for failing to adequately compensate his fighters, and the UFC president has previously referred to Paul as a fake fighter and made fun of his boxing career. Just one day after Dana White criticized the YouTuber and stated that people are tired of the shtick, Jake Paul joked that he will retire from professional boxing. Paul's comebacks have always been hilarious, but the fact that he's been so vocal about Ngannou's salary, along with advocating for UFC fighters, shows that Paul has some serious respect for his fellow fighters. So what's next for Ngannou, the heavyweight champion? MA has taken up boxing, and the fight between Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou might happen sooner than anticipated. WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury said, Francis Ngannou champion Tyson, your you're out of contract with the UFC. You want to earn some big boy money? Come see the Gypsy King and let's do a big, big fight for the baddest MF on the planet. Big boy money? That sounds tempting to say the least. However, he does have a condition. He'll go for Ngannou only if his match against Alexander Usyk isn't secured. He's given the Ukrainian a deadline for the end of February. So if that doesn't happen, you can bet to see Ngannou throwing punches soon enough.
serious, serious power. That left uppercut was nasty. I really can't wait to see how this legendary match pans out. But that's not all. There have been rumors that Ngannou will be joining the PFL, specifically Jake Paul's Super Fight division. Since he shared a picture of himself and a member of his family wearing a PFL t-shirt on Instagram just a few days ago, the California State Athletic Commission reports that Ngannou's final UFC fight against Gan earned him approximately $600,000. Ngannou could win $1 million with a PFL if he wins the organization's heavyweight tournament. The PFL has been aggressively adding big-name fighters recently, and Ngannou may be the biggest pickup in the company's history. While we're happy he's moving on, will there be any downsides to him leaving the UFC? For one, by refusing to renew his contract with the organization, he's missed out on at least $7 million. According to Dana White, Ngannou's new contract would have made him the highest-paid heavyweight in history, surpassing even pay-per-view star Brock Lesnar. But the Cameroonian player decided against signing a new contract with the organization. If he thinks free agency is better, then he must have a good reason for it. The 36-year-old MMA champion's future is affected by Ngannou's departure in addition to the UFC. Ngannou has a lot of options now, but he did mention that he would never say never to a return to the UFC. Not a lot of people burning up Mick Maynard's phone to try to get a matchup with Ngannou! Oh! Down goes the ream! Francis Ngannou! So is there any possibility he might come back? Shel Sonnen has talked about Francis Ngannou's possible return to the UFC. Francis Ngannou resigned from the promotion because he objected to the provisions of a revised contract with the UFC. Shel Sonnen, on the other hand, thinks that the heavy-handed athlete might return to the octagon. The Predator put his own personal interests aside as he attempted to negotiate a deal with the UFC that would have greatly benefited those competing in the promotion. His demands were, as expected, denied. But Ngannou would have stayed had the UFC even accepted one demand. Sonnen compared his situation to another fighter's situation, John Jones, who has also recently taken a leave from the octagon. Shell went on to mention how Ngannou isn't totally done with the UFC, unless he explicitly mentions he's retired and moved on. The fighter ended his comment by saying, don't close the book and don't turn the page. So you must be wondering, will Francis Ngannou return to the UFC after all? Francis Ngannou's UFC career seems to be over, but the door won't really close until he stops competing in combat sports. With Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, and Dylan White atop his list of potential opponents, the African heavyweight hopes to enter the boxing ring. Francis Ngannou is a proud man who wants to uphold his moral code and do what he believes is right, despite the fact that he has not retired from mixed martial arts. As a result, reaching an agreement with the UFC is almost impossible. With Ngannou finished with the UFC, it will be very interesting to see what happens next in his career, especially with Jake Paul continuing to push Dana White to pay his fighters more as their beef remains unsettled. It really is a huge shocker that Paul earned a lot more than Ngannou, despite being a newcomer. I'm just glad Paul realizes that Ngannou is definitely underpaid and speaks up about it. But what do you think?